Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Karina and today's video I'm gonna show you how to make delicious albondigas. This is the perfect weather to start making albondigas. They're so delicious, they're super soft. If you guys have never made them and you wanna know how I make them, keep watching. For this recipe, we're gonna start preparing the meat for the albondigas. I'm gonna be using one and a half pounds of ground beef. To that, I'm gonna add one third of a white onion, one minced garlic clove, some cilantro, or if you prefer, you can also use mint, one eighth teaspoon of black pepper, and one fourth teaspoon of oregano, two eggs at room temperature, one third cup of rice, and last, some salt to taste. And now we mix everything together. Now that everything is mixed, we're gonna start rolling our meatballs. And then we just form them into a little ball. Just like this. And we keep doing the same until we run out of meat. I made about 24 albondigas. I'm gonna set my pot on medium heat and I'm gonna add three tablespoons of oil. Oil is now hot, I'm gonna add two minced garlic cloves and a quarter of a white onion. We're gonna fry them for about 30 seconds. And next, we're gonna add three Roma tomatoes. And we're gonna cook these for about three minutes. It's been about three minutes, and now we're gonna add five cups of water. Now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of beef bouillon and some pepper to taste. Give it a mix. Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna be adding corn. I'm using two corns that I've cut into smaller pieces. And we're also gonna add in the meatballs. And last, we're gonna add two chipotle peppers in adobo sauce for additional flavor. I'm gonna cover it up and let them cook for about 15 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes and I'm gonna remove some of the impurities from the meat. It's been 15 minutes and it's now time to add in the carrots. I used one carrot. I'm also gonna add in the potatoes. I'm using two small potatoes. And along with that, I'm also gonna add some green beans. I'm adding about half a pound of green beans. We give it a mix, cover it up, and cook it for about 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes are up, and now it's time to add in our zucchini. I'm using one zucchini. And last, I'm gonna add in a small bunch of cilantro. Cover it up and cook it for an additional five minutes. It's been five minutes and our albondigas are now done. And with this hunger, they smell so good. And I'm gonna check on our potatoes because they're supposed to be super soft. And they are. They are ready. Now it's time to serve a delicious bowl. And there you have it, delicious albondigas. Ahora sí, so I already put some lime, tapatio. Cheers. So delicious. The meat, super soft. And the veggies, perfect for this kind of weather. And also, if you're a little under the weather, like me lately, this just hits the spot. All right, guys, that's it for this one. If you've made it this far and you've not yet subscribed, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on your bell notifications so you won't miss any of our new videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.